Hi, welcome to Updates on God Stories Today. Hi there and welcome to this new section on God Stories today. It's a section for updates and the occasional vlog and I'm really quite excited about it because I feel like God's been saying to me for a while now, Chris, you've learned the basics in terms of digital filmmaking and uh, the basics in terms of interview technique as well, always need to be improved, um, but you've learned the basics. It's now time to promote and develop the channel. And part of that development is uh, this section and some others as well. And uh, of course, the wonder of this section is that it gives me the opportunity to let you guys know all about it and to just basically just inform you about what's going on uh, with the channel per se. So for instance, um, as I record this very first vlog stroke update, there's about 14 interviews, I believe, on the channel so far um, but behind the scenes there's some wonderful 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 development so for instance I've got about five or six interviews that I'm editing right now uh, of some people that have just been so incredible and interesting and amazing um, but also I think God might be encouraging me to bring some other people on board um, as I said to develop the channel with some new sections and also to, to, to maybe I don't know sort of think about asking some other people to help out with the channel as well so i find that really really exciting and this this vlog stroke update section is a wonderful opportunity for me to bring you guys up to speed uh, with all of those things but also to have that kind of wonderful dialogue that a vlog stroke update section on a youtube channel has so welcome and i hope you enjoy this new section i really really do in terms of frequency um, of videos um, it's going to be sort of like when inspiration strikes so i'd love to be able to say to you every friday there's going to be a new vlog stroke update but I want, to be, I want the content to come from my heart so that it's got a, a chance of touching your heart. I don't want to be just um, producing a vlog stroke update because it's Friday, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, so it's going to be when inspiration strikes and there's something to reflect upon, something to pray about, something to uh, talk to you guys about, something to bring you up to speed about. Um, so equally, what that also means is that it's largely going to be in this wonderful informal nature. I like this sort of style. That's why I love YouTube, this informal style that you get so much on YouTube. And um, it's going to be recorded on my smartphone largely because, of course, when inspiration strikes, it, one, it can be anywhere. You could be sat in your car like I am now. Um, you could be sat on a bus, on a train, on a plane, um, in some sort of waiting area, in your office, at work, whatever really. And what you've got generally um, at those times isn't your smartphone so it's largely going to be spur in a moment um, sort of updates reflections uh, moments of prayer perhaps that sort of thing uh, all rec recorded in an informal fashion and also it might not be me who's doing it all the time it might be a friend of God's stories today who's uh, got something to say and does a vlog as a result um, I thought the first vlog stroke update, um, it might be interesting to just briefly cover how the channel came about. Um, it's been quite a challenge and quite an adventure and quite an exciting journey, to say the least. I'm just a minister in the Church of England. I've been in the Church of England for a couple of decades now. I'm a bit of a wannabe techie, but I'm certainly no digital filmmaker or anything like that. Um, I, I've got a love for technology. I'm a bit of a wannabe techie. I've designed websites and so forth, but when it comes to digital filmmaking, cinematography, photography, nothing. <laughs> so when I was walking up my stairs about nine months ago and I heard God's still small voice say to me, Chris, record people's stories. It was both, yay, this is just brilliant. I can't believe God has asked me to do this. But it's also, how do I do this? All I had at the time was a holiday camcorder, literally the kind of thing you use when you're going abroad and you want to take footage of your family, your friends, larking around on holiday. And I thought, well, maybe God wants me to use that. I'll just give it a go with that sort of holiday camcorder thing. Um, but God had bigger ideas and um, quite a few thousands of pounds later um, I've converted um, should we say a room um, into a studio and I've got some some 
reasonably nice equipment, but actually it's cost me a fortune. <laughs> and I've pretty much only got one of everything. So actually, if you could pray for some more equipment and some funding, that would be brilliant. It really, really would. So God had bigger ideas than my holiday camcorder, but I'm so glad that God has bigger ideas than we do because what an adventure it's been. It really, really has. And equally, it really is all God. It, it, it just just no way that this this channel could have come about um, and and for me to have had the kind of people saying yes to interview who have said yes um, I'll reveal in future vlogs you know more about the sort of behind the scenes nature of all of this um, and you'll realize that really I'm just fumbling my way into this in fear and trembling and delight because God always calls us to do things beyond our human ability doesn't he so that he can be God um, but as a result of that there's just no way it's just no way that um, the kind of people who have said yes to interview would have said yes if it hadn't been for the Holy Spirit, for God, prompt them in their heart to do so, so it's all God. So there I was, walking up my stairs, heard God's still small voice asking me to record people's stories, because that's been one of my primary joys throughout two decades of ministry. You know, you rock up at someone's house, go out for a coffee, and outpours their story. And then for him to turn around to me and say, record those stories, it was like, wow. Because I guess I'm a little bit of an academic in my own very, very small way. So like if you were listening to like a talk, a sermon or a lecture or something like that, you know, it really is quite, um, well, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. But there is something even more profound, may I gently and humbly say, about hearing someone or a story. Especially if it comes from the depth of their soul. And it is a story that reveals how God has interwoven his story into their story. Stories can be really life-changing for those who are hearing it. So to be called to be a storyteller by God and to fumble my way into setting up this channel, it's been such a blessing and I have to pinch myself that uh, that he's called me to do it. So that's how it came about. Walking up my stairs, still small voice, record people's stories, life savings gone, <laughs> please pay for funding. And here I am giving it a go in fear and trembling and delight and great adventure. So I'd like to invite you to come with me on this journey. Um, I really, really would. Um, and to, to pray about it, to tell other people about it, um, to subscribe to it um, and, and to know that it's a, it's... It's, it's an evangelistic sort of initiative as well. Um, I love the fact that this um, goes into people's iPads, iPods, iPhones, front rooms, computers, Macs, all that stuff. So beyond the walls of the church. Because it's interesting, the vision of the channel is to show what can happen when ordinary people say yes to God and then God does and can do because of their yes extraordinary things through their yes the channel yes there'll be high profile people yes there'll be people of great stature and other such things but really you know what that's not what it's about it's about people with fear and trembling humble hearts who, who have bravely said yes to God and as I said through that God has been able to just do amazing things uh, that's what this channel is is all about so so please come with me on this journey um, and and yeah please please pray and um, let's just see what God does so thank you for watching my first vlog um, God bless you all and as I said thanks for watching cheers